Maurice looks like a kid in a county store. He's like the walls painted fly, the carpet is soft as hell. Jessica Maurice. So if Maurice crosses the border from Cali to Nevada, he's violating parole. But he's like, whatever, I'm going to do it. So he does it. In fact, he's like, bye, deuces to Cali. So much so that he stands, they stand at the side of the motorway, highway, whatever you want to call that way. And he sprays it with his urine. Yes, he takes a piss. And... <laughs> Yeah, on California ground. He does all that and they have like a, um, what do you call it? They have like a drone flying over over the thingy and there's people walking there, random people, but they might be producers, I don't know. But I saw at least two people kind of just walking about and I'm like, okay, well, do you? But the thing that I don't understand is that Jessica, so she's waited for this guy for like, what, four years, five years, something like that. And it's like, why not just finish parole? and then go out to the house. The house, they get there because they do do this. I walk into my house that my wife been putting together for me since like, damn. Little thick ass carpet. I see the guest room, with little gym. Got all this food in here for you. Well, okay, I look in that refrigerator. It's snacked up, kneaded up. It's amazing. Maurice looks like a kid in a county store. He's like the, the walls, walls painted, painted fly. fly. The carpet is soft, soft as hell. hell. Like he's enjoying himself. Like he thinks it's a very, very beautiful house and it really is like she's she's made this all for them to be together right i don't know what work she does again another influencer type of house very very nice house she's got the guest house with a little gym in there everything looks amazing she's got the fridge snacked up beefed up or whatever he said and there's the oh there's so much food there's so many drinks there's so much everything it's amazing and in the confessionals he's talking about it and he really seems to appreciate what she has done for him so that is really nice <laughs> This is so funny. So Maurice is very excited to meet his father-in-law, which said no human being ever. But yeah, very excited. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna go over there. And if they see that, you know, I'm a clean cut, stand up dude, you know, blah, 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 blah. Obviously he asks Jessica, you know, how do you feel about taking a black man to your parents? And she's just like, mm. well, so yeah. And she, they won't know that he's jump parole. So this is gonna be, they're gonna try and keep that shh. But the thing is, you've just come out of prison. How in the world do you think you're gonna get away with this? Because they're always gonna be looking at you. They're always gonna be looking at every single step you take. That's why you got these pro officers. Like, I don't understand what these people are doing. I don't understand how Jessica is cool with it. I do understand that they have more freedom in Las Vegas, in her house, instead of in Compton with his family. I get that. Apparently they weren't sleeping in the same bed. These people are married, y'all. They can do whatever the heck they want to do. They go to the father-in-law's house and Maurice for the longest time has this kind of toothpick in his mouth. I hope he removes that before he goes to the, the in-laws. Look, don't have no chewing gum, don't have no none of those things if you're going to the in-laws. Like that is not a good look at all. Anyway, then Maurice has a do-rag on his head and she's like, are you gonna take it off? And she's, she's like, no. You know the do rag, it's got to get the, the hair laid, you know, the wavy wavy, but that's the stereotypical look of a black criminal. Nah, I, mm -mm. nah, mm -mm. nah, you can't tell me nothing. <sighs> nah, listen, he's on, Maurice is on strike two of three, and if he gets another strike, he's in there for life. Why would you play with your life like this? Why? Knowing that you've had two strikes, so obviously eyes are going to be all on you. Knowing that you're black in America, obviously eyes are going to be all on you. Why would you jeopardize your life and your future with this woman who has sacrificed so much for you and has this amazing house for you? You can't tell me anything. Something's not adding up here. All these people with these strikes. There's some other couple that has, that the, the inmate, the ex-inmate has strikes as well. I don't even remember who, but... This is weird. Why would you play with your life like that? So yeah, Maurice is asking, you know, how do you think your parents will feel that you're bringing black a black ho boy or a black man? And he's like, well, mm, I don't know. And he's like, what difference is it than if I brought a white man? And he's like, well, white goes with white. I'm like, listen, we are, you know, we are 57 years from when Martin Luther King did the I Have a Dream speech. And we are in 2020 and we are still talking about these things. Still, we are not letting people love 
who they want to love. I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Date who you date. Love who you want to love. Race should not be an issue in 2020. I wouldn't know how to feel. My daughter brought a man home, a different race, and just got out of prison and done some things that he's not proud of. See you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. We'll be discussing another couple. In the meantime, if you're already part of the family, it's lit over here. New video every single day. Not only about love after lockup, this is a lifestyle channel. We do everything up in here. So if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the thumbs up as well as the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video. And hit the notification bell while you had it. God bless and meantime, a glorious life.